like uh, uh, reward points. Uh, w- for example, when somebody um, uh, has a card, airline membership card, and when you fly, you get the points. And uh, can you can you use those points to you know benefit from the features like um, extra luggage or some other things similar to that and also um, the credit cards when you have credit card and you you you, when you spend you get the points Uh, it's an interest-free credit card for certain time if you pay within the time then uh, there's no interest and if you have such a card and if you also they give you the points are these permissible in Islam to use them? Jazakumullah khairan. These are the questions. Distinction between two different transactions. The first one which you inquired about, which is when you fly with a particular airliner and you prefer it over others, they start adding points to your reward card if you sign up. And the more you fly, the more you compile and add points to the extent that you will be able to uh, purchase uh, or upgrade your economy to business class flight or even purchase a whole flight uh, for the points or again, it's your points or extra luggage, etc. All of that is permissible because we have a seller and a buyer. And a seller says, if you buy from me, I will give you this as a bonus. It's permissible. But in the case of the card or the loan, the credit card, I'm not actually using my own money. I'm borrowing money. And I'm returning the money as I borrow it. And I hope you don't pay interest. So the interest-based banks and credit card companies, they give you incentive and points to borrow more in order to give you points. And this is not permissible. But the points that you earn as a result of purchasing out of your own money, whether airliner, hotels, or whatever, and then you have points enough to upgrade your class or purchase a free ticket or a free uh, item, that is permissible. Yeah, it is very important for us, my dear viewers, to inquire about what is lawful and what is unlawful in any and every business transaction that we are involved in. Nowadays, even if you are a housewife, house engineer, in other words, if you are a student, directly or indirectly, you find yourself involved in business transaction, either using debit card or credit card or whatever. So you have to inquire about halal and haram. And in case of doubt, Ask and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna ma dawa'ul ayy su'ah. And he also said in the sound hadith when he described the halal as very clear and obvious versus the haram as very clear and obvious. And he said, In between, there is a gray area, mush tabiha. Confusing matters. Some people would perceive them as lawful and some would perceive them as unlawful. So he said, Peace be upon him. How to deal with the doubtful matters, avoid them all together in order to seek protection and purity for your honor and for your religious commitment.